Hi guys, once again, this is Alfred from BinaryOptionsTutor.com here today with my third installment talking about support and resistance. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on pivot points and before we get deeply into pivot points I want to cover something I don't hear a lot of people talking about. Pivot points work just like uh, the Murray math lines we talked about in the last installment on support and resistance. They're just a formulaic, uh, hypothetically predictive uh, set of support and resistance lines with a central point uh, in the m middle of these predictive lines. So for the Murray math lines, you guys remember it was the 4 8 line. For pivot points, it's central pivot. And we are going to have three lines above central pivot, which are going to be hypothetical resistance lines 1, resistance line 2, and resistance line 3. And we're going to have three lines below central pivot, which are support line 1 support line 2 and of course support line 3 um, before we zip over to the pivot points I just wanted to look at this daily chart just a second this is a daily chart on GBP USD and um, um, I've put some manual lines here and you'll note this day here which is Friday and uh, we had a good swing here this is probably about 90 95 97 pips from top to bottom and that's the daily swing for that day and here's Monday which is yesterday and we had a, a smaller swing here we're probably talking about 60 pips from the top to the bottom now the reason I'm bringing this up is because I don't hear a lot of people talking about it but when you're trading around pivots sometimes uh, you're going to set up a plan based on the pivot points and you're going to say okay I'm going to trade I'm going to target this pivot point here to get out or I'm waiting on a trade I'm going to target this pivot point here to get in and look for a little contrarian trade uh, at that point or I'm going to target this pivot point and okay now I'm going to do it in the day uh, binary etc um, the pivot points alone like I say throughout a lot of these videos is not gospel they're just a formulaic hypothetical uh, plan for developing some lines of support excuse me in resistance and a lot of a, a lot of people uh, get the interpretation that well I'll just pop these pivots on the chart and I'll just trade around them and that's exactly what I'm talking about doing but let's look at it a little bit deeper when there's an aggressive day on the market then you're going to find that the pivot points are going to go outside of the Murray math lines and the pivot points are going to be pretty wide um, on aggressive days in the market uh, when that prior day is aggressive then your pivots for the day that you're trading on are going to be wider on a day when trading in the market uh, was kind of tight uh, consolidating a bit uh, then you're going to find that your pivot points for that next day just like that previous day because they're just a formula based on the swing of the previous day you're going to find that those pivots are going to be a little bit tighter now what I'm getting at here is the way I like to look at the pivot points uh, when I'm trying to work them into my trading plan is when I'm aware that the previous day uh, produce some uh, price action that was 
uh, a pretty wide swing from top to bottom then I'm going to be aware that the pivot points that I'm seeing on my chart are going to be pretty wide and maybe uh, looking for spots around R3 and uh, S3 uh, may or may not happen most likely uh, it's a little less likely that it's going to happen because I know that the pivots are uh, often really helpful but I'm aware that they're just a formula they're just a systematic mathematic formula and uh, therefore because the previous day had some rather wide uh, swings that they're probably going to be pretty wide uh, what uh, happens a lot of times is you'll see that previous day uh, you'll come in with those pivots and you'll say uh, well I'm going to look for something around S3 or R3 and the market just never gets there and uh, as the old saying goes the best laid plans of mice and man have often gone astray to quote Robert Burns uh, so when you're aware that these are just a formula then you can make your plans around that uh, we saw a consolidating day on yesterday and not a lot of swing so on today I was looking for something uh, some support and resistance around support 2 to support 3 I'm looking for those that wider move because I'm aware that the pivots that are drawn are going to be in closer with the Murray math lines and that it's going to be a little bit easier therefore for the market to get through those lines now uh, wide or not wide is probably a very subjective term it the reason that I have my 30-day average swing as well is my yesterday's swing is so that I can go to my chart and I can look and I can see what was yesterday's swing and then I'm aware okay well this means that the pivots that I'm seeing for today this swing here yesterday uh, is like 60 points and the 30 day average is like 81 so that tells me that the pivots that I'm seeing are probably going to be a little uh, soft compared to what we've been seeing on average in the markets that's exactly why we have this here on our FRB chart. If anyone's interested in getting this uh, indicator in the template, it's available free at binaryoptionstutor.com. Now, did we've got uh, some price action here. This is December the 16th, so on yesterday. And as we know, we saw a lot of... Uh, consolidation on that day that's what we just saw on our daily chart and over here uh, we see we're getting above central pivot uh, we've gotten above the four eights the five eights and uh, our six eights uh, we wicked right there we never made it uh, quite up to seven eights okay there we uh hit seven eights so we never broke out exponentially to our plus uh, one eights and now we're seeing the day just move down and pull back uh, some soft consolidation okay now we're seeing the current day that uh, current trading day December the 17th uh, 2000 13 as I'm recording this and uh, the day open we had a little swing here we're moving uh, up on the day there's our four eights that's uh, our point where we would view sentiment is turning positive on the day and uh, there's a huge this is a huge uh, institutional move and that move pushed us down below four eights 
and it also pushed us below our central pivot so viewing above central pivot is a positive sentiment and below central pivot is a negative sentiment just the same as we did with our Murray math lines in the earlier video we're seeing the tone of the day change and we're now seeing that break below that zero eights that exponential move lower and there's our first support one uh, on our pivot points and we broke right through that and moving along there's our support line two on our pivot points and uh, again huge uh, institutional or uh, let's just say dynamic action and we broke right through that and there's a huge gargantuan wick right here on this candle and it just so happens that this candle stops right around support line three um, you're currently getting some uh, movement back above that but you see this pretty much illustrates uh, something that gets I think a lot of people kind of turned off on pivot points because you'll formulate a plan around them but you've also got to factor in the price action they're just a tool they're just a formula uh, they can be predictive is illustrated right here but they're more predictive when you combine them with price action and looking at a little soft analysis of that uh, daily swing that actually generated those pivot points from the previous day and that's why we have this included here on our template and you can see that when you combine the two you, you would have drawn a hypothesis where you were looking for um, more of a swing on the market the next day because you would have known that the previous day you've got 60 uh, 60 pips from top to bottom roughly and the average is 81 so that was a day that was obviously consolidating and that lets you know that these pivots aren't going to be as strong here on December the 17th so you want to if you're going to go contrarian and try and get somewhere around the lows of the day you probably want to be somewhere around support level 2 or support level three and it just works hand in hand uh, using the swings using the price action using the actual theory and the methodology with the formula not just looking at pivot points is some formula that's going to predict the future for you and uh, you can just sit and trade around them the next day uh, they're not going to do that they're not that good but in their proper place, like all things, even the, uh, a lot of other indicators, they can help you uh, forming your hypothesis in developing your training plan on the day. Um, that's really pretty much all there is to it. Pivot points are very similar to uh, Murray math lines. I combine pivot points with Murray math lines so that I have several strikes throughout the day. In I can trade around this kind of little road map that's automatically drawn for me and combine that with my manually drawn lines just like I talked about in the very first video on support and resistance. You'll see I have uh, uh, some lines right here around the close of the day and here's a line around the uh, actual wick on that day in you could see some reaction here to that line uh, you could have very easily done a breakout trade on the day and either got into the market here uh, as we started to see that breakout below that closed or even as we start to see a breakout below that wick and wrote it you know for a few pips 30 let's say maybe probably about 20 30 pips down on the day but this isn't about breakout trading. This is just simply about 
using our manually drawn support and resistance lines and combining them with our pivots as well as our marine math lines which can be automatically dropped on the chart. If you guys are interested in using this same chart, the same template that I've been using throughout these videos, it's available at binaryoptionstutor.com. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment, uh, drop by the site anytime. Uh, we love to talk about trading, even if you're not necessarily a binary options trader. We love to talk about speculative trading, and uh, whether it's spot, stocks, etc. Once again, this is Alfred from BinaryOptionsTutor.com. A bit under the weather today, but hope you guys are having a uh, lot of fun trading the markets and a lot of success. Uh, stay warm. Uh, stay hungry for information because the market is alive and you have to be alive and looking for information uh, along with the market. Until next time, uh, thanks for listening.